All right, it's been two months since I've been using the Galaxy S22 Ultra, the top of the line flagship phone from Samsung this year in 2022. And in this video, I'd like to share my thoughts and my experiences about this phone. How has it been using it for the last two months? I would not like to do a typical review or share the specifications of this phone. Anyways, you will get it online or on YouTube. You will find almost all the information. I just want to share my experiences and my thoughts about this phone uh, after using it for the last two months. So let's dive right into it. First thing I want to talk about is the design. This phone looks luxurious and feels premium when you hold it. Having said that, it may look too bulky to you, but when you hold it in your hand, you will know how comfortable it is. The bulk could be a problem for the jeans pockets, but I would say it is still manageable. At first, the camera modules looked weird to me when I saw the commercials, but as soon as I saw it in person, it looked perfect. Those huge lenses look amazing on this white frosted glass bag I have here on this phone. This phone looks sturdy and yet it is pretty elegant looking device. Now I've been a Galaxy Note user for a few years. I've been using Note since the launch of Note 8 in 2018 and my previous primary phone was the Note 20 Ultra which is also a great phone with the Exynos chipset. But the biggest limitation of that phone was the battery life. Now the S22 Ultra is certainly a battery monster. Initially when I did a typical battery test on this phone, I got about 8 hours of screen on time with 120Hz refresh rate and optimized processing turned on without the always on display. And on power saving mode, I got about 9 hours during the test but over a period of almost 2 months after installing many applications and whatnot, the daily screen on time on an average is about 7 plus hours on 120Hz display which is pretty awesome and it goes up to 7.5 to 8 hours on power saving mode easily. I charge in the morning around 9 am and by the end of the day before I go to bed which is around 11 pm I will be left with about 20 to 25 percent of the battery. I am a moderate user and I don't play games unless I am testing the battery performance. So that's about the battery life on this device which is very important to keep in mind. Okay now I don't have to tell you about the Samsung phone's display right? It's the best we get in the market and on this device we have this beautiful display with 1715 nits of brightness which is perfect for using the phone under sunlight. In the settings if we turn off the adaptive brightness toggle we get another option to turn on the extra brightness which increases the brightness beyond default brightness levels. So if you are under brightly lit conditions you can make use of this feature or you can keep the adaptive brightness on to save some battery. An optional extra brightness is thoughtfully done by Samsung. Consuming media is a pleasure on this phone and I don't think any phone could match that when it comes to the displays. Now coming to the feature which makes this phone a Samsung Note. That is the legendary S Pen. Now this feature is something which not everyone would prefer to have on Samsung's top of the line phones. For many the Galaxy S22 Ultra was preferred without the S Pen but this year Samsung actually did away with the S22 Ultra and added the Note 20 Ultra and called it the S22 Ultra. So you are not getting the top of the line phone without an S Pen. Now the S Pen is certainly a very useful tool one can use. If you ask me whether I use it on this S22 Ultra, yes I do but not so often. I generally use it to edit images or excel sheets, click photos using air actions but I don't use it to jot down notes as such because I prefer using the keyboard to quickly create notes. If you are into S Pen then the possibilities are endless. I will be making a dedicated video on S Pen features so stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Alright now let me share my opinions about the cameras on this phone. Coming from the Note 20 Ultra, I wasn't sure whether it would be a good upgrade or not but believe me guys, the cameras are amazing and the best so far we had on any Samsung phones. The images and videos come out to be great, especially the night shots are improved to a good extent. Having said that, if we zoom into a shot taken in the dark conditions, we can see the grains there. However, the image looks great on the actual size. The autofocus is also pretty good on this phone. This phone supports the Expert RAW app from Samsung which is capable of taking some brilliant quality RAW images in any kind of lighting conditions especially in the low light conditions. In the low light it improves the image quality drastically. The super steady optical image stabilization makes the videos look very smooth and stable without any jitters. With features like stereo depth mapping, advanced auto framing, advanced portrait mode, adaptive pixels etc. sounds pretty high tech. These features are not a gimmick, they are put into use very effectively on this device. 
This is the most advanced camera we have on any Android device for sure. Now coming to the chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset which I have on this phone is able to handle the apps and games pretty well. My gaming experience is very smooth on this device. Now I'm sure you would be interested to know whether this phone heats up or not. The answer is yes, it does heat up while playing games and while using camera for longer durations. But I did not notice any sort of overheating or any abnormal heating on this device. After all those controversies about the game optimization services which throttles the performance of this device, Samsung now offers an option to enable or disable GOS services. So if you are into gaming, you can get the best performance and if you are not into that, you can get the best out of the battery life. Now coming to another most important aspect of this phone, the user interface and the operating system. This phone is running on One UI 4.1 right now and One UI has come a long, long way. There used to be days when iOS was the best and the smoothest operating system on a phone but now the One UI skin on top of Android is pretty close or I would say it's as good as the iOS in its own way of course. It's a pleasure to use the skin on top of Android. It's buttery smooth, the animations are fantastic and yeah besides these the additional features such as Bixby routines to automate the phone, secure folder, Samsung DeX which converts the mobile operating system into a fully blown desktop experience, the GoodLock app which enables us to customize the features and many more added features makes this device incredible indeed. I enjoy all these features and love the smoothness of this UI on this amazing 120Hz WQHD display. Alright, in conclusion, I would say after 2 months of usage, I am in love with this phone, design is beautiful, battery life is great, display is fantastic, camera and its features are incredible, performance is amazing, what else do we ask from a flagship mobile phone, isn't it? It's a complete package and I feel this is a phone you should buy in 2022. The only con I can mention is the size or the bulkiness of this phone. It's heavy, everyone may not be comfortable but it's more comfortable than holding an iPhone Pro Max because this has a curved edge which makes it comfortable to hold. That's the only con I would say. Apart from that, everything else is pretty good on this phone. This is my experience and my thoughts about the Galaxy S22 Ultra Snapdragon variant. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. There are loads of contents about the Galaxy S22 Ultra on the channel. There are many tips and tricks videos, best app episodes. We also have some useful content for the Galaxy Watch users. So if you are into all these topics, be sure you smash the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find it useful. That's all I have here. Thanks for watching you guys. Take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.